Okay, so in this movie, we'll add the slide and media gallery header graphics and titles. So these are just going to be some basic shapes that we'll add. So let me zoom, uh, scroll up here, up too far. So we'll go ahead and just start with this top one. So insert, shape, and a rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle loosely around that up top. I want to remove that outline. So I'm going to choose no outline. And I'm also just going to, just to, so I don't keep getting outlines when I do this, if I right click and choose set as default shape, it'll actually pick up the properties, the color, and then the, uh, the no outline. All right, so I'm going to come in. I'm going to zoom in here real quick. I can do that by pressing my control key and scrolling my wheel up. Makes it really easy to select an object and zoom in on it. Now, what I'm going to do is because this background has a red, uh, red rectangle and that's the color I do want, I'm actually going to temporarily change this color just so I can see any contrast uh, between the two. So I'm going to work with a darker one, use my arrow keys to nudge it in place, and let's come over here and see how this looks. All right, perfect. So with this selected, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back to the red. I'm going to type out my title, right? So Video Media Gallery, select it, and just begin typing. And notice how doing that automatically adds the text to the shape. It's a nice little shortcut for quickly adding text and not having to worry about managing an additional object as a, as a text box. Select Home. Let's go ahead and left align it and make it smaller. There's my heading. All right, so I'm going to scroll back out. Let's go ahead and add a, another rectangle header for the uh, gallery in the bottom. And this one's going to be red. I'm going to hold the control key down and zoom in again. Move the mouse wheel up. There we go. And let's see how it is over here. All right. Select it. Type in videos. I'm going to change that to the title, and let's left align it, and then I'll bring it down. There we go. Now, I can just duplicate this one, so I can hold uh, my control key down and click drag to make a copy. And you notice how the lines are actually, the uh, little guidelines are now showing up. You see the top of it with the red dash line? That helps me know that I actually have it in the same place, and I know that they're vertically aligned on the top. So there's my gallery. If I bring open the, or actually turn off my picture. Okay, pretty good foundation for our template. In the next movie, we'll go ahead and continue working on this placeholder uh, layout by adding the video thumbnails, their titles, and their descriptions.